В связи с невозможностью по состоянию здоровья исполнения Горбачевым Михаилом Сергеевичем своих обязанностей президента СССР, they first moved in at 4 a.m., the first sign of the coup d'état that removed Mikhail Gorbachev from power. With tanks in Red Square, the official word from the new government calling itself the National Emergency Committee was that the architect of Glasnost and Perestroika was too ill to continue in office. Mikhail Gorbachev is now on vacation. He is uh, very tired after these many years and he will need some time to uh, get better. Tens of thousands filled Leningrad's Palace Square to demonstrate against the coup and cheer their Republic leader, Boris Yeltsin. Yeltsin supporters reacted with their bare hands, building makeshift barricades with whatever piece of disused machinery or brickwork was available. Generally speaking, around the Russian Federation building, people are defying the 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew. The people there say that they do not obey the laws of the military junta. They obey only the laws of Russia and the decrees of Boris Yeltsin. How does a ragtag crowd prepare to fight a division of tanks? They toss a few more bricks on their flimsy barricade, pile up sticks and stones and post a few more slogans. The Soviet Union has entered its second night under military rule after a day of growing defiance and rising fears of bloodshed. There has been now a report in from Reuters, the British news agency, that three people were shot dead uh, outside the Russian parliament by Soviet tank crews. Military convoys were seen heading out of Moscow. Tank drivers confirmed the coup was ending. To people manning the barricades here, the first sign the coup was faltering lay in the fact there was no all-out attack on the Russian Federation headquarters. The withdrawal came after dissension had developed in the military. At least two crack airborne divisions revealed they had thrown their allegiance to Yeltsin. Less than three days after being placed under house arrest by communist hardliners, the Soviet president is to return to Moscow to retake the reins of government. The fate of the coup plotters remains unknown. The end of the rally, the Russian flag was hoisted above the parliament building in place of the hammer and sickle. Tens of thousands of people outside Boris Yeltsin's headquarters were elated. In their view, he had saved the day. Victoriously, they waved the Russian flag. And one speaker said, the black night of fear had become a new day of freedom. <laughs>